So here in Fresno, California, we just finished installing a 50-gallon Bradford White natural gas water heater. Uh, right here is your model number, serial number. I believe in here uh, you've got a, a warranty registration card you could fill out and mail to Bradford White, or you can go online to bradfordwhite.com. They'll ask you for the model number, serial number, your name, street address, phone number, all that kind of stuff. Anyways, uh, get that registered Bradford White to get your warranty going on the product. Uh, as per contract, uh, starting at the bottom, we did replace the supply line. That's a gas supply line, half inch OD by 24 inches long. Uh, the old gas valve that was in here was an old spin-through valve, so it actually went all the way through the valve and spin. And those things, eventually what happened, they start leaking out the bottom. Then you have to shut the gas down and come out and have a plumber change that. They charge about $200, $250 just to do that one item. So uh, no extra charge on that. It's not a part of the contract, it's, but it's only like a $10 valve. No big deal. So brand new valve, brand new supply line. Uh, lower third adjustable straps. Upper third adjustable straps. And then we went ahead and reinstalled the relief line where it was at. It was going down the side, uh, dropping down on the garage floor. We did go ahead and put a little piece of wood right here just to pop it out away from the sheetrock. And what that allows you to do is take a little five-gallon bucket from Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever, and put it underneath, slide it against the sheetrock, put it underneath right here in the event you need to activate this relief valve. This relief valve right here is supposed to be activated annually just to make sure that it's working correctly. It's spring-loaded at 150 PSI. Uh, too much temperature and or pressure builds up and this pops off and water dumps. Unfortunately for you, it's on the floor. If you'd like this relocated, we certainly can. We can go around the side of the building, uh, down the sidewall, uh, out to by that back door and dump it outside. Probably run you about mm, three ninety five, uh, maybe even more. Uh, it's, it's about it's probably more, about two and a half hours. So, anyways, not a hard price on that. But, uh, anyways, that's where it was at. So it's dumped back down there, and you can put a bucket under there if you decide to activate this line so you don't get water on the floor. Um, up here on top, we did go ahead and replace the cold water valve. That is not in the contract, but we we'll put it in there anyway, so no extra charge as well. Three quarter watts. Uh, uh, three quarter watts full port ball valve quarter turn off quarter turn on so that's good cut back all the existing uh, couple adapters on there you can see soldered on some adapters here and on the hot so uh watts ball valve three quarter brass nipple three quarter by 18 falcon stainless steel connector to the cold side all the way down we did check this just to make sure we didn't have any water let's check it again and it looks dry Hot three quarter by 15 Falcon stainless steel connector, and these are the Mega Flows. This is a full three quarter inside diameter supply line. Most supply lines out there is three quarter outside, and then inside about five eighths. So this gives you the full flow. Plus they're really flexible. You could take these out and straighten them out and bend them again over and over again. Really good product. Uh, no trouble with these since we start using them. So brand new supply lines as per contract. Relief valves installed. Um, draft fitter comes with the unit, and we all we did here is just replaced a couple of the offset fittings. Didn't really like them, and uh, just reused a piece of the pipe. No big deal. So back up into there, it's screwed together back in place. Right now the burner is lit, water is heating. Should be a couple hours before you have hot water. Um, everything else, uh, well, oh, one more thing we did do is just cap this off. We got here and there was a little bit of water. You can see a little bit of staining back here. A little bit of staining on the platform, but not substantial at all. Not enough to cause mold growth or to demo back this platform. We did dry off the top, and uh, sheetrock was in good shape, but we don't like setting uh, our water heaters down on anything but solid surfaces. So a little piece of OSB, it's a half inch OSB, we had back in the truck, put that down. Water heater sitting on top of that. Uh, everything's strapped, everything's running. Keep this uh, at A, or at hot, I'm sorry. Uh, that's about 120. If you'd like to turn it up, go ahead. We have to leave it there because it runs about 120 right there. It's a safety issue. 120, uh, A 130, B 140, C 150, very hot, 160. So at B, 30 degree burns, 3 seconds, somebody's going to the hospital. Uh, and that's in the event you have a full flow faucet, like a big tub that you fill, hot full flow, or a laundry faucet. Anything has a full hot flow. You'll get whatever temperature this is set at, you're going to get it. And uh, leave your hand in there too quick, you get burned. Especially if you have little ones over uh, for holidays or if you have little ones in the home currently. Uh, anyway, so leave that set. If there's something going on in the home as far as hot water is concerned, check the fixture first. Showers, uh, single handle faucets, single handle kitchen sink faucets, things like that. Tend to the cartridge goes out. Sometimes you start having trouble with hot water. So, anyways, enough said on that. Water is installed. Everything looks good outside of that.
this installation is done.